Yeah, I think so. I agree. <laughs> you know, individually, each of these points of view can make sense, uh -huh. but they can't all be right. Sooner or later, we have to make a choice. How in the world can you blend such different ideas together? We do have to make a choice. It just needs to be an informed choice. Um, you can't blend it. You can't have socialism and capitalism and libertarianism all the same time. But we do it anyway, don't we? Mm -hmm. And yes, we do. it's just at different times, and we do blend. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I tend to say is, is put it together and ask some key questions. One of the things people ask me, what do I do with this information, Steve? And, and I say it's three questions, and you've got to start with two questions, then go to the third. The first question is, how do you feel about this? And I ask myself, how do I feel about this? I ask you, how do you feel about this? And I have to follow it up again, what do you think? Because thinking takes off the red glasses put on the blue. Let, let me just try it out on you, Laura. <laughs> what do you think? How do you feel about this? Aren't I supposed to ask the questions? I'm the interviewer. <laughs> you are the interviewer. <laughs> Steve, what do you think? Well, no, play with me. Okay. Okay. Tell me, what do you think? How do you feel about this? Well, I do like the people filter. People matter, but I guess you do need to step aside once in a while and think like an engineer or an mm -hmm. accountant. And you also need to let go and, you know, and step aside and be like a butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. I think I do have a lot to think about with all this. <laughs> <laughs> I like I said, I think, I think, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and, and that is the answer to your question. How do you make the choice? It, it truly is, is all three. I, I got this model of think and feel from a fellow that uh, worked in my training company when I was doing project management training. His name is Dick Cochran, and he tried it on me, what I just did to you. Steve, what do you think? How do you feel about this? Mm -hmm. And I discovered it's incredibly powerful. You see, some of us gravitate towards the red, and we want to say, well, I feel this way. I feel strongly that we should do this. Mm -hmm. Other people are like what well, you said, accountants and engineers. They don't really want to tell you how they feel. In fact, they'd rather not share how they feel. They'd rather tell you what they think. And they'll give you a good analysis. And so what Dick says is ask both questions at the same time. And that way a person is free to tell you how they feel or what they think. And then your follow-up question is, okay, now you've told me what you think. How do you feel about it or what I think? Now, my wife, Joanne, who is much more of a feeling person than me, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes she says, Steve, how do you feel about this? I say, what? Feel? <laughs> Am I supposed to feel about this? What does that have to do with anything? I would much rather give her an analysis. Well, you know, the, uh, we got this, we got that, we got that. Mm -hmm. uh, and if she would say, Steve, what do you think about this? I'd be more likely to answer her question. And then she follows up, but okay, now you told me what you think. How do you feel? Now, what I have to learn dealing with her is maybe I should start out. How do you feel about this, Joanne? And one of the things I've noticed about her is that uh, if she listens to a politician speak, uh, we hear two different speeches. And I have found she's a better predictor of the outcome of an election than me, because she'll tell me how she felt about it. And I'll tell you an analysis of what was said. And obviously, it's a combination of the two. So you, you really have to, to look at both of these at the same time. But the other thing, I, I mentioned Dick Cochran said, what do you think, how do you feel? He likes to then follow it up with, where can this go? You see, thinking and feeling is very present. How I feel is how I feel right now. Mm -hmm. And where can this go has to do with what's over the horizon. And it gets you out of the present. And I find in a conflict situation, they, the, the, the conflict management, they always say, deal with the feelings. You know, you do that, this is how I feel. Mm -hmm. Or they say, get pragmatic and put feelings aside and, and get logical. Mm -hmm. But what's really powerful, once you do all that, it says, where can this go? And uh, if I'm unhappy with my wife over something, and you know, we all have relationships. And, I, I, because I, I write on this, I say, Steve, you know, you got to ask that question. Where is this argument going? If I'm just repeating myself, it's going nowhere. So the real how-to, if you want to sum up this book, is ask yourself, what do I think? Ask myself, mm -hmm. how do I feel? And ask myself, where could this go? And it gets you out of the present into the future. Very true. I completely <laughs> agree with that. And it also seems like you can 
use this in all areas of your life, not just leadership management. You right. can use it in your personal, all levels. It could definitely be very useful. Yeah, I, I said it's about leadership and management because that's what I do. But you're, you're right on the nose, Laurel, that it's, it's every day. And think, where can this go? How much happier the world would be if we paid attention to how other people feel? Mm -hmm. And how much better off we'd be if we got out of our own feelings and started thinking a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then how good it would be if we'd all let go once in a while. And I find people that aren't real strong in one filter tend to invalidate that filter. I, I'm pretty high on the future. I, I always like the new and the innovative. Uh, not everybody does. And they invalidate me because, oh, well, get back down to business. Let's get down to the basics. Mm -hmm. uh, but yet I invalidate them and say, well, this is cool stuff. And, and they would say, Steve, we've got to get this on budget, on plan. What did you promise? And it, it comes to doing all of them. And, and that's, that's where the power is, is, is learning to do them all. Mm -hmm. I could see how this could be very useful on so many situations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At work, business, seminars, yeah. and interpersonal. And I could see how this could go very far. <laughs> yeah. and, and really, Laurel, the problem is we forget. We, we get in the middle of a situation and we forget to think or we forget to feel or we forget mm -hmm. to consider the future. And, and that, that's why you need a simple model and that's why Nelson was right. Just make it three. That's enough. Three mm -hmm. is enough to make a color picture on a TV. Three is enough to remind yourself. And you could have 16 or 256 different colors or whatever, mm -hmm. but three is enough. Okay, let's think about thinking, let's think about feeling, let's think about the future. Where can it go? And, and that's where the power is. If you just stop at two, you, you, you lose that power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do need all three. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And it seems like all three areas are of equal value. There isn't one that's going to hold more weight than the other. I think you're right. However, for any individual person, we tend to gravitate one for, towards one, and that's okay, too. Mm -hmm. The ideal team uh, doesn't have people who all do all three. The ideal team covers all three and will validate the people who are different. What we want to do is, let's get people under control. Or, why don't you feel? Why don't you care? And so where I want to go with this is do all three. Is there anything else you'd like to no, add to I, our No, I think audience? you've covered it really well. So okay. it's been fun. Great. It's wonderful. You just heard from Steve Willey, author of Colorful Leadership. If you have any questions or comments, Steve welcomes you to post them on his website at www.colorfulleadership.net. You've been watching CCTV 54. Thank you and have a good night.